Hi, everyone, and welcome to our Unicon booth. Um, I'm really excited today to, to, to welcome you. Um, and we have a great presentation planned um, with my good friend, Oksana Yurosevic. Um, hi, Oksana. <laughs> hi, Linda. Hi, everyone. So, um, so first I'll, I'll just do a quick round of intros, a little bit about myself. My name is Linda Fang. Um, I'm a software architect with Unicon. Uh, I work on analytics, integrations, and privacy related projects. Um, I was previously at Instructure um, on the product team responsible for Canvas data and analytics as well as SIS integrations. Um, and uh, I spent a long time working uh, in the standards community um, around uh, ed tech standards, privacy, and, and student success analytics. Um, I've been a, uh, you may know me from uh, work that I do in the IMS um, with Internet2 um, in, in the LRS SIG, as well as uh, through Educause, there's a student success analytics community group that I'm pretty active in. Um, just a quick intro on Oksana. Um, if you don't mind, Oksana, I'll introduce you here. Um, uh, Oksana is a senior technical product manager for data and analytics um, at Instructure, and she's responsible for the short and long-term data and analytics solution for Canvas. Um, so, so a great, great person. So, so uh, pleased to have you uh, here in our booth. Thank you, Linda. I'm uh, really excited to share everything that I have been working on and everything that you guys have been asking me in the past couple of months uh, about our data and analytics. Great. So um, for everyone here, um, I want to start with some high level background. So why don't we talk first about um, what is Canvas data and some of the main needs that it solves? Yes. Yeah, so uh, in structure, uh, Canvas product um, has a a couple of data services options that we currently offer to our customers. And um, one of them actually um, allows customers to uh, download uh, database uh, specific data in bulk. Um, right now, Canvas data actually serves that function. Uh, it's a product that customers use to run uh, periodic data pools from our data store. Um, so Canvas data as a product uh, was introduced about five or so years ago, so it's, uh, it's been seasoned. Uh, Canvas data 2 is a new generation, and it will eventually take over Canvas data legacy and hopefully uh, will satisfy all of the feedback, passionate feedback we have been receiving so far on the product. Yeah, that's great. And I, I do remember when Canvas Data Legacy was rolled out and there was a lot of excitement then. I'm so happy to see now with, uh, with the new generation um, and some of the new things that are coming and it's going to be even better. Um, so maybe we can talk a little bit about what some of those key uh, features are for the new Canvas Data and, um, and what, what customers can expect. Yes, yeah, so uh, um, if I summarize the Canvas data as a product, I would say that it's a, it's a product that customers will use to easily find, filter, and understand Canvas data specifically in a timely manner. So we uh, envision it as a hub, uh, as a data hub for probably all in structure products at some time. Um, it does provide the improved uh, data sharing experience and it does uh, offer some unique functionalities that don't exist in the legacy product. So I would like to talk about those in detail. So those are very exciting things. Um, the biggest one is our latency. So legacy product uh, right now offers about 24 hours, sometimes even longer periods that uh, data uh, stay still. For Canvas Data 2, we're shooting to accomplish four hours or even less in some cases when it comes to providing uh, fresh updates to the customers. Um, so the latency got decreased. Also, um, we introduced a couple additional um, data sets that will address more of the data um, breadth and depth for the product. So, the most exciting ones that I can think of uh, are the LTI uh, tables. So 
customers can pull some LTI usage or uh, understand what tools are installed and the frequency of those tools used. Um, new quizzes data will appear in our Canvas data product as well. Uh, quiz student responses or answers, calendar events, faculty journal notes, uh, originality reports from the plagiarism platforms. Um, so all of those are planned to be released in our Canvas Data 2 schema. Now let me talk a little bit more about the schema. Um, Canvas Data Legacy currently relies on a, a schema organized in the um, star-defined data sets. So star schema has been uh, something that Canvas Data implemented um, a few years ago. With the Canvas Data 2, we're trying to walk away from star schema and we're introducing uh, a, a different schema that closely aligns with what the Canvas API, Canvas Live Events, which is another data service we offer, uh, schema looks like. So we kind of unifying it and making sure that the definitions are all uh, the same across different products, data products. Um, when it comes to the um, other schema difference, I believe that right now in uh, Canvas Data Legacy, uh, we are not as granular when it comes to defining a, a particular table, a particular field, versioning it. So we got lots of feedback and we try to implement that feedback in Canvas Data 2 in regards to schema. So one can ask me, so how do I get all of this goodness out? And right now there are a couple tools that are on the table for Canvas Data 2. Uh, one is command line interface, uh, which is very familiar uh, to our developer community. And another set is the API calls. So I would recommend actually exploring uh, CLI before looking into APIs, simply because we actually try to develop CLI as that uh, user-friendly, um, simple command line tool that will uh, help you to avoid lengthy API calls and multiple API looping. Uh, I also will be sharing more details about all of this uh, nice features we're thinking about in my presentation. And that's gonna be in this conference uh, and it's called Canvas Data Powering Data-Driven Education. So please check it out. Great, great. Yeah, thanks, Oksana. Couple things, just observations. Uh, so I, I definitely agree. Uh, there's been a lot of pent up demand. People um, will really enjoy the fact that uh, new quizzes is gonna be in there, uh, the, the plagiarism reporting, and then the LTI tool usage. I think that those are the key ones that I've heard um, people are, are really eager to get. Um, and then I think the other aspect is, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think the new schema closely aligns with existing Canvas APIs. So if you are familiar with the APIs, it's one of the strengths of Instructure Canvas that everything you can do in the, in the, in the application, you can do through an API. And there's really great documentation that's always up to date because it basically is part of the, the product to have the API working. Um, so I think people will pretty much, you know, there's no additional learning curve to be able to use the new schema. We hope so too. So um, kind of with, with all of that said, uh, what is the current status of the Canvas data to rollout um, over the coming year? Yeah, so uh, uh, as of today, uh, we actually rolled out our early access, or so we also call it preview mode of Canvas Data 2. Uh, it consists of a basic CLI tool that one can use to pull the data sets. And uh, one of the strengths and differences of between Canvas Data uh, Legacy and Canvas Data 2 is that uh, we introduced the ability to uh, request Delta files or updates. Uh, and that actually will ease out um, the development work and the processing work on the customer side. So that CLI tool that currently available for uh, sandbox data could be used to request the snapshots and updates, uh, run a couple commands to understand the schema 
and um, figure out how to filter the updates, um, the timestamp or um, a specific timeline basis. Great, yeah, and, and uh, just, just to add to that, um, so I, I know I was gonna say earlier that uh, if people could really give you a standing ovation during the, the you know, when you were talking about the latency, I, I think that that is something I think everyone's gonna very much appreciate is, um, is, is pu pushing down that latency to, uh, to the four hour or less window. Um, I also think um, that for those who are interested in the Delta, that that's something, um, you know, people uh, that I've talked to um, are very intrigued by it. They, they've, uh, a lot of people have uh, basically built their, their scripts to, to kind of work with the once a day snapshot approach, everything kind of pulling everything. Um, but given the, opportunity to look at getting deltas especially for things like requests or you know tables that are getting really large nowadays um it might might actually uh give them more uh more room to um to to get uh their data faster and in in more scalable ways yes and that is the hope on our side to minimize the amount of uh data you pull uh, as well as maximize the, uh, the frequency that you pull the data. So that should allow you to do both, actually. Um, something else I wanted to bring up, we are uh, shooting to release Canvas Data Beta um, to our product and allow our customers to test it out at the end of the year. So we haven't set the date yet, but uh, we're shooting a Q4, sometime in Q4. We're, uh, it will be available in production, uh, though it's going to be a beta release of the product. So at that time, we're expecting people to reach out to the customer success managers and ask uh, to get that tool enabled in their instances. So just to reiterate, so today, if someone wanted to use it, um, they might get access to the test sandbox. Is that the preview mode? Correct. And yes. Sometime later this year, then their sandbox, their own instance, could be enabled in beta. That's exactly right. Okay, great. Yeah, and so Unicon has actually been uh, doing some experimentation and testing with the current test sandbox preview, um, and we're already um, really excited to, to be working with it. So um, maybe we can just uh, sort of wrap up by, by talking a little bit about um, what you think are the top things that customers should be thinking about now as they want to try to uh, prepare for moving to the new Canvas data? Yeah, so uh, I get asked a lot about the, the migration questions and uh, particularly about the um, options that Instructure offers when we talk about getting off the legacy and moving to a new product. Um, so customers do have options, and right now uh, you can do it yourself uh, and leverage all of the documentation that we have been posting online. Uh, just release the document that maps your Canvas Data Legacy tables to Canvas Data 2 uh, table schema. We have schema available that you can explore. Um, and honestly, one could start building the migration uh, today. The other option is um, if you are uh, a customer of Instructure Professional Services and you have been working with us, and even if you're not, you can leverage professional services as well. Just reaching out to CSM and arranging the professional services call will do it. Some customers use professional services to host their Redshift instance, and those customers will be um, covered by our uh, professional services work, so they don't have to worry about it. Now. Uh, I strongly recommend to look into what Unicon has uh, in terms of the options for migration. Um, I think that the big advantage that Unicon has is um, you are guys already in the education industry. You know um, your customers well. Uh, you have a pretty good reputation in the market as a solid uh, provider of the software products. And uh, you, when it comes to developing the options, you um, can develop unique um, uh, solutions for our customers. So 
Yes, and I would love to talk about your options more because I wanted to educate myself <laughs> as well and uh, see if our customer is going to um, like it, use it. Yeah, Th thanks for that, Oksana. Yeah, I mean, for sure, I think um, as we've been thinking through, um, you know, each customer may have a different situation based on kind of what they already have that they're doing with their existing Canvas data and, and what they would like to take advantage of in the new Canvas data. So um, we, we are, are very much um, preparing ourselves to, uh, to be ready with certain uh, service offerings that kind of fit each customer's need. Um, and we kind of start with like really a, just a conversation and you know, helping them to think through what their what their goals are and what what their plan should be for for moving over. I'm so, sure they um, will yes. appreciate it. Oh yeah, and and uh, you know, this is really the beginning of of um of some of those customer conversations. Um, so, uh, thank you again. This is uh, super exciting, um, and I'm really looking forward to kind of having um, more opportunities to to you know, talk about Canvas data with you, Oksana, as always. Thank you, Linda.